Um, we called our girl Galetta, which was going to be a psychological thriller by me and Caitlin. Um, uh, in our opening, it's only one person, Sally. She's the main character. She's in her early 20s, living alone. She's got dark hair and she's just like, it's night time, so she's just like in her pyjamas. Um, and it's around 11 and she has no idea what's about to happen to her. And that picture is from When a Strange Calls, which is one of the films we looked at. And it's got the same sort of thing, except hers is about fine and ours is about a letter. Yeah. Um, the plot, the plot centres around the main character called Sally. She's living alone in a flat in a suburban area. Um, so he sent a letter which frightens her, sort of like this. Um, but her best friend, Kari, Karen, <laughs> dismisses it as a practical <laughs> joke. Sally, however, is not sure as she starts to suspect her neighbour, Lionel, or being behind the letter. But every time something happens, like what says in the letter, she starts to feel really uncomfortable and he she always... it's Lionel. Yeah. But as the film goes on, the plot develops and it turns out that it's another character behind it all and it progresses to a final two in conclusion. Our opening sequence, it will be, we've got a storyboard here, and it's our production name, and it will be a black background and red text in kind of spooky font. And the first shot that will be is um, of her house, as if someone from outside is looking and watching her. So that's again from When the Stranger Calls. So we didn't copy it, but we just watched it, and that kind of gave us the idea. Um, what our title sequence will contain? Um, it's getting late, and Sally's just entering the living room casually, just turning on the TV to watch her late night program. She sits down, looks through the TV, and as he hears a letter pop through the letterbox, and she looks at the clock, and it's going to strike eleven. She goes off to the letterbox. It's really late, so she doesn't expect mail at this time. Um, she's all flustered because she's like alone and she doesn't know what, what that, what's going on. And um, she stares at and she sees a letter hanging out of the letterbox. Um, she opens the letter and she sees, that's what, what it's going to say, um, and the audience sees the horrific letter um, she looks at the door, it fades to black, and the title of the film appears, which is again the letter. Yeah, and it's like ransom note form. Yeah. Um, we looked at these three films, um, as they all were about stalkers as well, but only when a stranger calls, only that opening relates to our film. Um, um, other characters. Um, which don't appear in the opening sequence. Barry, he's a stalker. Um, he's stalking her because she rejected him in high school. Um, Karen's Sally's best friend. She doesn't really take any notice when Sally's like really scared. Um, and Lionel is just a neighbour who just seems like a bit of a creepy guy. And um, she thinks it's him, but it's not. Props we all use are slippers, dressing gowns, a cup of tea because he's just having a chill out time. Sofa, a grand barber clock, TV, remote control, small lamp, so it kind of sets the scene that it's not going to be all what it seems, um, and the letter. Yeah, and we're going to do it in the Castleville house, because that's like, we could do like yeah. a living room. Yeah. Um, the letter will say Sally be around lots of new things are about to change around here. That's all for that, yeah. Oh, have you done a story, boy? Any questions? Yeah. Is there anybody question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's your production company there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Red Dagger Productions. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Any other questions? Music. Yeah, we haven't decided on music yet, but yeah. it'll be um, soft, but we'll go creepier. Yeah, we'll go creepier as the letter arrives. Okay, thank you.